Hey there, everyone, and welcome to After Hours. In tonight's episode, we are going to be taking a look at doing some fun couching on our long arms, or you could probably do it on your sewing machine if you have the right foot, but this is gonna help you create a really cute, quick and easy quilt, say that three times fast, and we're going to be using the Burnett uh, blanket yarn. This is a number six thickness yarn, and I'll be using it with the Trapunto foot on my Anova long arm machine. Uh, you'd be looking at using either a Trapunto foot or an actual couching foot. If you don't know if you have a couching foot or a Trapunto foot available for your machine, make sure you reach out to your local dealer and they'll be able to let you know. So for this one, we're using um, just some plain old wide back fabric and I just cut it down. Uh, same thing on both sides. I went ahead and washed it as well so you could see how it washes up and that it does hold up perfectly fine. So we're going to head over to the machine with our yarn and take a look at setting this up. I first wanted to show you the setup for this. I'm using a computerized machine to make, uh, quilt this out. You could do this uh, free motion as well if you wanted, but I'm using the uh, puzzle pattern that we have here at Linda's Electric Quilters, and that's just going to quilt all over back and forth for this the way I have it set up. But I did want to show you how this particular pattern sets up. So I've got another screen for that. So what I can do is this pattern is sold just as this one individual repeat. So if you have this selected and you go into your edge to edge function of your machine and you kind of queue it up, this is the look that you're going to get. It's just going to have a bunch of kind of wavy rows. So you would use your offset feature if you have one and just offset the rows to then they would set right on top of one another and you would get that puzzle look that you're wanting to get for this design. So I just wanted to show that real quick, kind of throw that in there so you could see what it would look like. The next thing I wanted to show you was how to thread the blanket yarn through your Trapunto or your couching foot. Uh, so anywhere on your fabric, you'll just want to take a single stitch. And then once you've taken that stitch, you're going to take the yarn and lay it on top of the foot and kind of pull it to the back and then take another stitch in front. So you're basically making kind of like a lock stitch over the top. So another single stitch right in front. And then if you hold those top and bottom threads and push the machine away, you'll begin to then feed it through the foot, just like that. So you'd untie any knots or break any threads um, that got in your way because you'll have a different starting position when you move, but knowing how to feed that will help you in the long run in that process. So I've got my machine at the starting position with the bobbin thread pulled up and then the couching yarn is fed through the foot. You want to make sure you have plenty of slack on this one. You don't want it balled up on the actual um, yarn ball right here because it's going to pull too much and it's not going to hit the way you want. So make sure you've got plenty of slack available at all times. You're going to hold all your threads nice and taut and then tap continue if you're using a computerized machine um, or if you're doing free motion, then you'll just start to quilt with it. But again, just have plenty of slack available for the machine to naturally pull that yarn. So whenever you're done with a row of quilting, or if you're just done quilting in general when you're doing your couching, you're going to trim the yarn right on top of the foot, and then do tie-off stitches going backwards over what you've already done, and that's going to lock down the yarn. So you can do tie-offs with a single stitch, or if you have a tie-off feature, I do that one time, and then I do these really close and tight together so it locks it down. And we'll do one more. 
just to lock right over that. And then you can pull up your thread. Again, if you're done, then right here you can be finished, but we have a couple more rows to do on this one. So I'm gonna pull up my bobbin thread and then I will reposition and keep quilting. We're rolling up here to the end. So once it gets to the end here, it's going to stop. And then we can do our final tie-offs just like we did right before. So again, this is just a tiny little piece, but it shows you how quick you can do something really cute. So trim right above the foot and then use your tie feature or single stitches. And you can just trim or tie right back over what you've done. Again, single stitches or your tie feature. So then once that's done, you can pull your machine away, come back, pull up your thread, trim that, take it off and do the binding. Do to do, do. So here it is. It's super duper cute. I like the blue. So this is like the variegated blue edition. And then this I did with like a green, white, gray variegated. But there's so many different options that you can do with these. And again, you would just take it off your machine. You could even roll it, do a quick roll flip and bind that way. That's what I did for this green one. Um, or if you want to do the proper binding on it, you can do that as well. But super quick gifts. And you can imagine this over a full entire, say 108 inch wide piece doing a very intricate elegant pattern would look super cute as well i hope you enjoyed tonight's video on how to do some couching on your long arm i'll see you next time here on after hours bye